Welcome back, everybody. Your host, AMF1534, here. Let's play some more Condemned Bloodshot. Apparently, there's some sort of confusion on what to do with them. Kind of like typical agency red tape. You got a smoke? Yeah, sure. There you go. Thanks. I don't really know what exactly I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, here we go. I don't know anything about that. Come on, baby. I gotta sneak up on this guy and take him out big time. I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd get a look at the infamous SKS. Does Dorland know you're here? No. Sweet. Like I said. I know that uh Mr. Leland Van Horn is inside of this bus over here, so I really gotta go take him out. Maybe you should go about your business. Yeah, I'll go about my business by taking you out of your business. Now. Let's head inside of the bus and take care of this guy. <laughs> My flashlight doesn't work. What the hell? Alright, Leland. Where are you at, buddy? There you are, you little shitbag. He cut all his hair off. Why did you kill your uncle? He refused to cooperate. He had it coming. What about the mayor? Did you kill her for the same reason? Jesus! Holy shit. <laughs> How's the finger? Miss it? Do you think of me when you go to scratch? I think of you every time. I look in the mirror. Answer my question, you sick bastard. Or the fingers you left me will wrap around your neck. Answer me! <gasps> Good lord. Such power. The Oro? Of course, the Oro. Why kill Van Horn and the mayor? Their body is possessed. The Oro's secret. It was necessary. The Oro! Who are they? Where can I find them? So he's not gonna tell me. God damn it. Oh shit! Uh oh. That's not good. And now he's on the loose. Oh, son of a bastard ass. Oh boy. I don't know where we're going, but this does not sound promising. At all. Well, I'm gonna say this. Whoever was driving that bus is the worst driver in the world. He drove that for like 300 yards, then the damn thing exploded. And now my flashlight works. Of course. Okay, so Leland Van Horn obviously is 100% out of his damn freaking gourd. And now. Shit! LaRue! SKX. Go after him. Hurry! Are you okay? Are you just gonna lay there on that piece of plywood, or what? And now we get to go search a bowling alley? Yeah, that was weird. My game froze, for no apparent reason. I would love to have something to hold on to. I don't need that. A bowling ball? Tight! I don't feel like that's a very good, a very good weapon to have, though, so I will take this instead. A gumball machine. Alright. So, I'm trying to figure out exactly what being in this place has to do with anything. Well, I mean, I know exactly what it has to do with anything, because this is obviously where I am. That is creepy. What was he doing? Like, why was he standing like that? I don't understand. I don't... <laughs> that was the creepiest thing. All these guys are standing here like mannequins. What the hell's going on? Just fucking be normal. Oh, dude, that would hurt so bad. His body would pretty much cave in at that point. Dude, I think there's something wrong here. There's something not normal about this. 
Are you guys noticing this? It's just like... Everybody's just standing around, like, very, very uncomfortably. I wonder if we haven't encountered, like, a glitch in this or something. Because I don't feel like all those guys would just be standing there like that. <laughs> and this... <laughs> uh, whoa! Okay, this these guys are normal. So, this that, that foosball machine totally reminded me of... Um, whoa. Oh, come on, you got shot three times. I can die for God's sakes. Come on. Okay. So that foosball table totally reminded me of uh, the Green Hornet, because I watched that last night. And that movie is fucking hilarious. It really is funny. This reminds me of the part with, like, the fight scene. And this is only, like, a six-lane bowling alley. This is a pretty small place. But it reminds me of a the fight scene where he throws him onto the table and starts hitting him in the face with the foosball guys. I thought that was I actually drooled well, from Ru's laughing. What's happening? LaRue's hurt, and that bastard SKX has escaped. What? I I'll send help. Don't let SKX get away. I don't think that sending help would be a very viable choice right now, considering that half of the police force is against me. Yeah, I just threw a pool ball at me. Which gives me a very bad memory of the last time- OH! The last time I got hit with a pool ball. Oh, for God's sakes. Yeah. Yeah! So, story time. So a long time ago, back when I was in high school, I, was, I had a- at my parents' house, I had a pool table upstairs. Ooh. Spectrometer time. Um, there was a pool table at my parents' house. I'm gonna probably be in this next room. Um, and we were playing pool one day, and we were playing, uh, we were just playing a random, uh, just like a straight game of pool, and somebody was breaking, and the way they hit the ball, just like, dude, there's all sorts of, what is up with these people? And that guy from here kind of looks like Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> yeah, ah, you are dead, senor, and that guy's playing foosball. But anyway, um, I was playing, and my brother just, like, broke. He just, uh, he, you know, broke the shit up. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 calm down. Haha, <laughs> shot him in the asshole. Boom! Boom! Yeah! Damn gun out of here, there's nothing in it. So, he ends up breaking the pile up, you know. And then, um... Oh, shit. Shit. I don't have a weapon to block him with, damn it. God, just die already, for shit's sake. Okay. Before I can't even get down to my damn story, he breaks the pile apart, and the eight ball flies off the table and totally hits me right square in the coin purse. Dude, I folded over like a lawn chair. <laughs> Who headbutts people anymore? Like, it's ridiculous. Oh, I'm gonna get you. What can I throw you into? Yeah, we'll just throw you into that table. Okay. So, there was a guy over here earlier. Somewhere. I don't see him anymore. And I really... I need to go back in the other room and get some health. I know that there was a first... Oh! Oh, hello. That's a very odd place for one of those. But I gotcha. So, grab that gumball machine there. There was a first aid box back here somewhere. I must get it with my body and put it into myself. Is it really all the way back in here? Uh, I think it was. Somewhere. This is not my most fond form of backtracking. I guess it's not really worth it. I know it was around here somewhere. Maybe it was all the way back in the other room. I'm not even going to deal with it. Because I had to... Oh, it's right there. I knew it was here. See? I know everything. And now we're full. Which reminds me, I'm kind of hungry. I must eat. A man must eat. Except for when he doesn't. Then he doesn't eat. 
so, oh, I want to tell you guys something. So, me and my friend Matty, you guys know who he is from my other side series thing. Ooh, ho, 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 it's shotgun time. Um, so I go to, we go to Subway the other night, and there's a 24-hour Subway in Salem, and it's awesome. It has a drive through in the whole nine yards. So, wow! Get out of my life, you bastard. Jesus Christ. Anywho, so we go to we go to Subway, you know, whoop de whoop de doo. And they have like those new breakfast sunrise subway melts, you know, the ones on the flatbread, and it's awesome. But we had or we had like the frame of mind to think it'd be a cool idea if and this was mainly Maddie's idea, I didn't really think about it, but he's got the the food prowess. We instead we added because it was like ham and bacon and, and egg and cheese. He decided it'd be a cool idea to add gravy and hash browns on that, and it was ridiculously awesome. To the point where we have now coined that sandwich, and apparently nobody else had ever thought of that before. And so, we have now coined that sandwich as the breakfast leviathan, because that sandwich was huge for one. Second of all, it was delicious. And third of all, where in the hell am I supposed to go? I don't see my path out of here. I don't. Uh, I perdon. Alright. Where do I go? Oh. Rosa, I found some sort of list. Hold on. One of Dorland's men just walked by. Okay, give me the details. Okay. Uncle, Mayor, Director, Magic Man. Okay, well, Mayor, put named. Mayor is obviously Mars. The Director, I don't know, that's kind of hard to tell. Who the hell would the Magic Man be, though? Oh, that'd probably be Van Horn. I would imagine. The Director, Uncle. No, Uncle would be Van Horn. God damn it. So the Magic Man would, I guess, be unknown, because they don't know who it is. <sighs> Director. Okay, so Uncle, Uncle Van Horn, Mayor Mars, Director. Who would the Director be? I think that the Director's Dorlin, because he's kind of like the main dude here. It could be Pharaoh, but I'm gonna go with 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 Dorlin. I'm probably gonna do bad on this. The info is coming in now. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Hmm. Strange collection of names to find in a bowling alley. I'll look into it further. Uh. Oh shoot. And what way is that way, you old bum asshole? Tell me what I want to know. I want to cut your balls off. Maybe one of these doors will actually be open down here if I go down that way. <laughs> I think that's the case. Go ahead, Ethan. What evidence? Oh, that's a head. That is a f that's that's Rachel Mars' head. That's pretty gross. That's a bag. That's a bowling bag. Bag contents. That's just a lot of blood. A whole bunch of blood. Yes, there's a pair of shoes in there. The owner of the bag. Who is the owner of this bag? I would imagine... Well, that's SKX's bag. Because he's the one that killed her and put her head in there. Receiving information. Yeah, baby! Sicko. According to your evidence, it looks like SKX uses the bowling bag to carry the head around. <laughs> that would make the most Get a sense. Picture. I'll see if I can make an ID. Okie dokie. Let's get a photograph of Rachel Mars' head. Boy, she looks happy. She really went out on a good note there. Got it. Excellent work. Well, I've seen that face a hundred times on TV. Belongs to Mayor Rachel Mars. Of course it it's does. It's probably no coincidence SKX was captured near the bowling alley. This must be his base of operation. 
Yes, we all know that every good serial killer always operates in a very, very trashed bowling alley. All right, so we have identified Rachel Mars in this bloody bowling bag, and it looks like we have un uncovered a little bit of an opening over there. So when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Condemned Bloodshot, we will go through that little hole and see what's on the other side. Maybe SKX is there. Maybe not. So this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.